Donald Trump fears Andrew Yang. We know that because he likes to criticize and trash every candidate in the Democratic primary, except Andrew Yang. The reason for this is simple. All you have to do is look at Donald Trump's own book, The Art of the Deal, where he says that bad publicity is usually better than no publicity. And you know he really believes this because this was his guiding principle during his own 2016 election. Almost everyone who hears about and then takes the time to thoroughly understand Andrew Yang's policies eventually switch over to him, including many of Trump's own voters. That's why Trump fears Yang, because he knows that out of all the Democrats, Andrew Yang is the one that he can't beat. And don't take my word for it. Here's Andrew Yang with the actual numbers. Right now, the number one criteria the Democrats have for the nominee is who can beat Donald Trump. That's one reason why Joe Biden's number one, because he th people think that he's the uh, most electable. But if you dig into polling of Trump supporters, I am one of only two candidates that 10% or more of Trump voters said that they would support, which means if I'm the Democratic nominee, the Democrats will win this election. That's just math. And, I, and one of the reasons why I'm getting double digit support from Trump voters is because I'm not a politician. I'm new. Uh, I'm from outside the system. Uh, when Donald Trump ran around saying drain the swamp, there are a lot of Americans who've lost faith in our government, particularly our government in D.C., to solve the problems that they're experiencing in their lives. And so when I'm campaigning in places like New Hampshire and Iowa, a lot of people will say to me, you don't sound like a politician. And I like that. Uh, it, unfortunately, we're at a point now where it's going to take some combination of politicians and non-politicians to solve the problems. You, you're actually worried about the little guy. You know, you're actually worried about the truck driver. You're actually worried about that, that man or lady answering the phone or the fast food worker that no one ever is going to get up on any kind of a political platform and talk about. I'm going to talk about it. And, and that, that says a lot about you. Um, the fact that you even came out here with me today and you took time out of your schedule to drive around in a truck and, and meet truck drivers and walk around a truck stop just to see what it's like. They don't ever do that. And they just don't seem to remember that, hey, it's the little guy like us, the blue collar worker that we, we built this country. Um, and here you are sitting with me today and, and, and saying the stuff that you have said. I have to, I have to follow you now. Oh, thank you, man. I really appreciate I, it. I really will. And I'm not just saying that because you're here. Um, I know. You're a straight shooter. And, you know, yeah. You know, like I said, I, I, I voted for, for Mr. Trump for, for many reasons. I don't agree with everything he does. Um, but you don't seem like you're a politician. You, you, you really seem like you're a genuine person that has the American people at, at, at your heart.